Well, welcome to One Sales uh, East at uh, Suffolk Yacht Harbour on the banks of the River Orwell. We're currently working uh, on Pepe's uh, inventory for Medallia for the, uh, this year's Bondi Globe around the world single-handed. Great order for us to have uh, uh, obtained and a great challenge for us as, as sail designers and sail makers. On the shop floor at the moment, we've got Pip's virtually finished uh, J2, that's her primary headsail. Uh, we've just started working on her uh, uh, mainsail. Uh, this is a state where we receive the sail from our Italian partners that make the membrane and then we do lay the sail out and we work on the detailing and finishing of the sail. Head of your J2, you've got webbing loops, port and starboard to lash to your torsional cable. Uh, luff tunnel, unlike your previous sail and perhaps the sails you used on uh, class 40s, which had a zip on the tunnel, so you could easily get the sail off the torsional cable. Because all you're doing, all you're doing, is sailing around the world and you won't be taking the sail down we've just made a solid tunnel. So we'll slip the cable in on the boat, hoist it, that's it, take it down when you're finished. J2 clue, we've got uh, two Dyneema loops, one for your uh, primary sheets, and then one available for your hook sheet on your reaching strap, or maybe you want to put both primaries on, primary sheets, and then when you uh, want to change, you just undo one and put your hook sheet on, or your reaching strap sheet, call it whatever. Uh, so that's that little detail, a bit more detail here. We've got a Velcro pocket to cover your leech line system, which is a three to one system. Uh, when inevitably the leech line creeps, or as you need to put it on, uh, you will end up with quite a bit of tail down here. You deal with the tail by just tying it off around the little webbing loop. Cover it all up so nothing can wrap around it, and away you go. Looking at the batten pockets now on your J2, obviously it's a furling sail, it takes around its own luff, so the batten pockets are orientated parallel to the luff, so they roll in nicely. Uh, batten pockets and the bondy globe, huge challenge. We've got to think about chafe, durability, strength, but without too much weight. So, things to think about. Inside the membrane itself uh, are internal reinforcings around both ends of the batten pockets, you can't see them, but they're there. And then we, the cell makers, have the challenge of building a pocket that's strong, chafe resistant, and will go the distance. Uh, battens are going to load from the bottom of the pocket. Uh, we've got a simple lashing system. Uh, we're going to be using Hall carbon battens. And the lashing system works ever so simple. You do it up at the beginning, tension the batten correctly, Tie off the Dyneema. Obviously, this tail's a bit long, but we'll be dealing with that. And then, down goes the Velcro. Everything neat and ship shape. Uh, what are we doing here? Still on the J2. Uh, the J2, although it only overlaps the master a little, uh, you have got mounted about four meters up or so your radar, which you've actually, as I understand, increased the size of. So that projects in front of the, the mast, and we need to protect the sail as you tack and maneuver as the sail wraps around the radar. So here, Neil is fitting a self-adhesive uh, chafe patch to the, to the membrane, to the sail, so that uh, we minimise any damage that might occur. Moving around the loft, what have we got going on here? Chris is working on your A2. Uh, all the panels are laser cut in the sail, as you know. And the first thing, having sorted out all the panel, not any consequential job, uh, Chris is going to stick all the seams together prior to stitching. To give you some idea of that job, look at the pace he's going, and he's got about a thousand metres of sticking to do. That's quite a lot of sticking. Um, but it ensures accuracy, which is what it's all about.